Hey Sabre fans, welcome to my um, second video. This is kind of a vlog and update on my current project. The Graflex 2.0, wait, 2.5. This is an updated update. So um, a package came from Shapeways for me today. Uh, Shapeways basically is a company where they do 3D printed plastic or metal or whatever. And they uh, basically are a company where you can send in your design and they can uh, well print it for you. I believe it's in Netherlands because this is where it started from. This is where the package originated. So anyway, um, then this guy called Rick Rio came along and he decided to make a 3D printed chassis for the Graflex and some other lightsabers. But I am interested in the Graflex and that's what I know him for. So um, basically what the 3D 3D printed chassis is, it's where you're going to be holding all of your electronics in a graphics lightsaber. It is steady, it is safe, the plastic is great. So I kind of, you know, opened this so that I don't have to, you know, just tear these things open and stuff. Anyway. So um, I kind of like unboxing. I actually unbox for a living. Believe it or not, so I'm kind of good at these things because I just got the package in my hand and, you know, it just popped open. You know, I'm in a, I am an unboxing guru. So inside we have this nice, you know, thank you note from Shapeways. Oh no, thank you Shapeways. You guys have been so uh, great. I ordered this on May 5th, on Revenge of the 5th. So uh, yeah, Star Wars stuff. Well, I'm building a lightsaber, it don't really make sense. I ordered this on May 5th and uh, it came today on the 11th. Now it was estimated that it would ship on the 8th. It shipped on the 6th. So I appreciate them for their speed. Master Kenobi. Wait, that's not my line. Sorry. So um, I appreciate Shapeways for their um, the, the tracking number they provided. They uh, packaged it in a uh, UPS package standard. Anyway, so I was able to track the whole thing. So the thank you note and the there's so much more to discover note side. This is the whole order. This is a receipt, I guess, or a shipping label. I'm guessing it's a shipping label because you know it has a barcode on it. So that's that. It has the three items that I ordered. Some bubble wrap. Someone's going to go nuts over with this, and it's not me. And um the contents of the box. What's in the box? Uh, 3D printed stuff. Relax. Okay, so there are four things in this box and you're going to say, wait, I saw three things that you ordered. That's very perceptive of you. So let's go over what I ordered. Okay, first things first, I ordered the Graflex uh, Night Chassis because it is one that I like and I can afford at the moment. I would really like the master chassis, you know, with the metal parts and stuff, but um, I've already studied the night chassis to begin with, so it's gonna be much easier. Here it is, night chassis in, uh, it's a flexible 3D printed plastic. I'd rather not, you know, stress it and flex it too much because this did cost some dinero. So yeah, let's put this aside. We'll go over it in a minute. Then the next part on the two part of this chassis, second part is the well soundboard holder and the crystal chamber, if you will. So uh, over here, this is where the kill key goes, the recharge port. It comes with a kill key that I'm not going to be taking out of its packaging because we all know what a kill key is. Hopefully this time I won't lose it, but I won't because the whole logic behind this kill key is that you never have to take it out unless you have to charge the lightsaber, in which case you just, you know, put your lightsaber down, leave the kill key next to the lightsaber, wait for it to charge, and when it's done, you just pop it back in. And when you want to kill power to the board, you just switch the kill key, power goes off, you switch it again, power come, comes back to the board, and that way you don't lose the kill key and you save power on your soundboard, which is great. And I like that design. It is ingenious and I appreciate it. So 
I won't be losing this kill key, hopefully. So I'm going to be putting it back in the box. And the third item that I got was the Graphlex Clamp Switch module. I don't know if I'm supposed to call it a module, but hey, who am I, judge? So um, I'm going to go over these in a minute. So what should I go over first? Minutes over. Okay, let's go over the main shell. Basically, um, this is the skeleton, if you will, of the Graphlex lightsaber. If you are into lightsabers and specifically into the Graphlex, you know what this is, but I am making a video on it, so I will be explaining it. Um, this is where the battery rests and the cables go over, you know, the roof of the chassis all the way here where the electronics will all meet the soundboard. And I'm going to be using a Nano Biscotti version 4. And uh, that's that. So it has this, you know, indent where it can make access to the SD card to pop it in or out much easier. So it is a good design. Um, judging by the chassis, it does accept all of the sound boards. So um, that's an advantage. If you want to use a different kind of soundboard instead of the Nano Biscotti version 4, you can still buy the same chassis. Or if there's a different chassis, then you can go for it anyway. So the kill key goes over here at this, you know, brown section over here. I don't know if you can see it properly. So that's that. The soundboard rests here. And I know that this is a section for the Nano Biscotti because it's kind of tiny. And uh, this is the section where the, you know, wires from the speaker and the batteries travel all the way over here to the soundboard. And that is for a later day to discuss. This spiraled section in here is where the crystal will lie. And it has a, you know, I don't know if, it is visible, but it does have a, um, let me see if I can get it properly. Oh, well, there it is. It is a little hole over here. This hole inside my big thick fingers don't help. But basically, um, you just put a five, uh, five millimeter LED inside and uh, it illuminates the crystal. So when you take these two, I'm not going to click it in place because I did it the first time and it took me about 20 minutes to take it apart in fear of breaking it because I don't want to stress this plastic too much. So when you basically click this in place, the whole crystal reveal window uh, will be in effect. And when this is fully painted, because I do have some acrylic paint, some gold and silver, I want to give it a metallic finish to make it look, you know, more metallic as a lightsaber component. So uh, I also like these details that this lightsaber has. Sorry, this chassis has. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but these little details here, uh, I really appreciate them and I will take advantage of them when I start painting the chassis. So that's just about it. It looks simple. You, you may think to yourself, okay, yeah, what's the big deal? Uh, but it isn't coming into play just yet, that's why. So 3D printed chassis, that's it. I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm kind of scared of breaking it uh, because, you know, it is rigid. It is very, very rigid. It's not as flexible as I thought it in my mind because the plastic, it's not, you know, like rubber or anything, but anyway. So if I push this in, it will be very difficult for me to get it out without flexing or stressing it and I do not want to go over it again. I was very anxious not to break it. So it's a two-piece design and that's the chassis for the Graphlex 2.5, 2.0, 2.1. .2 and last but not least, this is where the clamp switch is going to be housed. It has two uh, sockets for suspension springs if you just need the um, Imagine that you have the circuit board or bubble strip on the top of the um, clamp switch. 
and uh, the suspensions help the bubble uh, and uh, circuit board to you know just bounce back in place when you hit the activation activation switch. But as demonstrated by the creator himself, Dimitri Stock, it doesn't necessarily need suspension springs because the uh, tactile switches already are you know spring loaded, if you will. They do bounce back. They uh, they are very you know bouncy. And it works, so we're very happy with this. So the whole idea is that you just take this on the lever and just click it in place. It will spin around, but it's not a problem. And then you can take some aluminum for, from a beer can, just as he demonstrated in his video, and it will keep it in place with some uh, tape, double-sided tape. So I'm going to be doing the clamp switch because I think it's much cooler than the red activation uh, switch. That is my preference. A lot of people prefer the red activation switch, but um, I'm not going to argue. It is a lightsaber and a lot of people like to interpret it the way they like. So anyway, um, I do have the two tactile switches that fit on both sides of the, um, you know, switch, uh, 3D printed plastic. Now, some other or older versions of this uh, 3D printed plastic was a uh, compact piece of plastic where it had the two, uh, you know, two sockets for the activation switches. And uh, you would just take the Graflex clamp lever and you would just put it through the hole instead of clicking it in place, just like this one. And you would basically tighten the clamp and uh, it would hold the 3D printed plastic in place. And on the sides, on the older ones, they would have these cuts so that you could put the wire with the switch from the side. So basically now this has holes in it. If you can see, it has these two holes where you're going to need to put both of the wires, positive and negative. Uh, no, wait, not positive and negative. Sorry, scratch that. Uh, you're going to need both wires to go through before you wire the tactile switch to the um, Before you generally wire the switches and then when you're done with the wiring I guess that you just bring the wire back down until it um, gets all snug in into place and Then I will have an activation switch for my clamp and that is why I purchased this part. Now, um, I'm going to be going through it. I think I can make some videos. Basically, why I'm doing these little vlogs, little podcasts, is because I want to see if I can explain what I'm doing when I'm doing it. So, I'm going to be doing some things off camera because I am a beginner. I am a rookie uh, when it comes to soldering, let alone sabersmith building and stuff. I've only, you know, only done one project and that was with help. This is me doing it all by myself because I want to prove to myself that I have the skills to build a lightsaber. I know I can and I know I will. So to recap, box, kill key inside, uh, activation switch for the clamp, which is great. I love the design. Let us put it back in its packaging if it decides to open. And let's put it back in the box then the soundboard you know sliding uh, part from the chassis which also houses a crystal in front I love the uh, night chassis it is very cool and I think it will look cooler when I paint it so that's that so all I have to do now is uh, continue honing my soldering skills so I do not so I fortunately do not need to uh, use too much the soldering wick and screw up my build so that's that uh, I will catch you guys on the next video possibly when I'll be going over the core band kit I'm going to be ordering it in the next few days and uh, we'll see when it comes so in the meantime if I don't have any content if I do feel like it if I do feel confident enough, that is, I will be posting something to keep you guys occupied. So for the time being, if you're watching this, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So may the force be with you and have a great day.